Hello and welcome to another video. In this one, we're talking again about typing in Python uh, with MyPy and such. And I'm going to show you a problematic type and then how to work around it using protocols. Uh, I've actually done another video on protocols, so I will link that in the description. I've also done a bunch of videos on typing, so you can search the playlist for some of those other ones. Uh, but anyway, let's jump into it. Okay, so uh, I've actually run into this problem many times, but most recently I ran into this while working on Advent of Code. I'm gonna show you a very small example and then show you that the type checker is not happy with it, and then I'll show you how to fix it. So first we're gonna start by doing from future import annotations, and this is because we're gonna define a circular type, and in order to reference itself, the name has to be available. I'll show you that in a second. I also did a video on that, so you can find that one in the playlist as well. Uh, okay, class example. We're gonna make a name tuple. This is gonna have some value, I guess, and we're also gonna have some children. And these children are going to be uh, the same type as the parent class. And uh, let's just give it a default just to make this possible to construct in any particular way. Uh, and if we make one of these, we can make it either without passing any children, or we can make it with passing children. Uh, example one. So we have two different instances of this, and if we print these, I'll show you that it works fine at runtime. And you can see here we print out our example, which has val one, and we print out our other one. Uh, you're just missing a few parentheses on my face. Don't worry about it. Uh, not important there. Okay, cool. So that works at runtime, but it fails at typing time. So let's set up a virtual environment and show you that if we run MyPy on this, install MyPy, and MyPy may fix this at some point. So I'm currently using version 920, which is the most recent version. Um, there are there is some support for some cyclical types in MyPy, but not full support. So uh, this is a particular case where it's not supported. Um, cool. So, oops, pressed enter on the wrong one. <laughs> so if we run this, you'll see that MyPy will give us this error, cannot resolve example, possible cyclic definition. And this is what we want to work around. And fortunately, there's a very easy way to work around it with protocols. Uh, because for whatever reason in MyPy, protocols are okay to be cyclical. <laughs> I don't really understand the actual reason for it. Um, but it works, so it's fine. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this class and uh, define a shadow version of this that's a protocol. Uh, now the tricky thing with name tuples is everything in here is immutable. And so the way that you represent that with protocols is with properties instead. And if you had some other method here, maybe, I don't know, val squared. Uh, return self.val times self.val. Let's assume that we have some other method there. So we basically need to copy the interface of this full object to a protocol here. Uh, I usually name it with an underscore in the beginning. It doesn't really matter. You can name it whatever you want. You just can't shadow this name exactly. Um, but I, I often do this or do it in the other direction where this is the public name and this is underscored. One or the other, pick one. Uh, figure out what, what works for you, what you like, and, and stick to it. Okay, so we need to define all of these read-only attributes as properties. So we have to do property uh, val self return int. And of course, with protocols, you don't actually need to fill out the methods. They can just be stubs. Uh, oops, I forgot to mute Discord. Sorry about that. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> Uh, and we can make our children property as well. Now note here, we can't use this name down here, but we're gonna use our protocol name because protocols are okay to be cyclical. Uh, tuple example dot dot dot. Uh, and of course we also don't need to fill in our method body again. Uh, and we'll also wanna fill out this method as well. So defl squared self int. And the cool thing about protocols is because they are structurally typed, uh, we don't need to explicitly extend this from here. Uh, the type system just understands that this implements this protocol. Uh, now, the last thing that we need to do here is we need to use the protocol in our tuple here, and that will allow it to be cyclical. So if we, if we run this again through MyPy, you'll see that it works. And if we run it through Python, it also works. Uh, this also works if we do 
uh, reveal type x2 dot children zero dot children zero dot children zero etc etc you could keep going forever even though this is not actually valid because there aren't there aren't children there uh, oh we need to my pi not um, you'll see that it it knows that it can follow this this um, recursive type here uh, but anyway that's kind of the workaround for cyclic types uh, that's needed today hopefully it will not be needed indefinitely into the future but for now this is a nice little workaround uh, hopefully this was interesting if there are additional things you would like me to explain leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms but thank you all for watching and i will see you in the next one